Today we craft the Infinity Gauntlet and bring balance back to the world of Minecraft and blow up a lot of stuff. Hello everybody, I am Kindly Kian and welcome back to Minecraft. I have discovered the ability to create the Infinity Gauntlet in Minecraft. Now, obviously, this is a mod that I've installed in Minecraft, but it looks pretty stinking cool. But before we craft the Infinity Gauntlet, some other arts and crafts, Kindly Key and merchandise is available right now, but it will only be available for a limited amount of time. I love this design. I hope that you guys like it too. It seems like you guys like it. A lot of you guys have been grabbing it while you can. There's a little over a week left on the campaign, so you can still get the shirts. Link in the description down below. Check it out. Support the channel. Get a cool shirt. I love the design. Hopefully you guys do too. Now, Back to Infinity Gauntlet d Design class. This is how you create your own Infinity Gauntlet and destroy the universe or something like that. Obviously, we need all the Infinity Gems, right? You need the Infinity Stones. You don't have a proper gauntlet until you have the Stones of Infinity. Where are you gonna find those stones? Well, most likely, I know this sounds crazy, but they naturally occur in just random ponds throughout the universe. You just walk up to a pond and you might find yourself a whole slew of infinity stones. Like this pond, for instance. This seems promising. You just walk up to it and lo and behold, there you go. You just got a nice little pile of infinity stones just, just hanging out in the middle of the pond. I don't know how they got there, but that's where they love to live. What can I say? Power gems, soul gems, mind gems, space gems, reality gems, time gems. They just love disgusting and stagnant and festering ponds of water. Okay, no, obviously I put them there. There's a command that you enter when you have the mod installed. You can see all the, the times that I've spawned them. They actually despawned before, but I gave myself all of the, the gems. I spawned them. Okay. So we have all of the infinity gems. Now we have to craft the gauntlet. And for that, we will need a crafting table. So we have our lovely crafting table here, but there's more. We need one diamond and two ingots of gold. We now have all of the materials required to build an infinity gauntlet. And this works in real life too. Yeah, you just, you just need two gold ingots, some diamond, and then all of the infinity stones. So. Go find those infinity stones. So now we need to assemble the infinity gauntlet. I'm looking at a guide here on how to put it together because it is very specific. So it looks like it's actually, it's shaped like the fist, right? That's pretty cool. That's that's a cool idea. And then the soul gem is on the top, on the back of the hand. <laughs> I see what you're doing here. All right, we put the gold ingot. Oh, I need a second gold ingot. I am a fool. Behold. The Infinity Gauntlet, what we've all been waiting for. It took a lot longer than I was expecting. It's a little embarrassing, but we now have the Infinity Gauntlet. Now I have to learn how to use it. I don't actually know how to use it. Okay, obviously I'm wearing it, so that's pretty sweet. Oh, oh okay. Careful with that. Holy moly. I just blew up a hole in the middle of the ground. I, I don't know how I did that. I just, I right clicked. Oh, that is cool. So I think it said that the current state of the Infinity Gauntlet is in power mode. So this is this is power mode. We can basically blow up stuff at our will. Hmm, I like it. Let's find some victims. How about a zombie? Hey, zombie, wh does that? <gasps> what the heck? That zombie has an Infinity Gauntlet. I hope he doesn't know how to use it. Do you think zombies get infinity gauntlet training? I don't think they do. Hopefully he doesn't Google it. What in the world is going on? Why does this guy have the infinity gauntlet? There can be only one infinity gauntlet. Goodbye, my friend. You're done. Toasted and roasted. If we see any other infinity gauntlet holders, they must be destroyed. Balance truly cannot be returned to the universe unless there's only one. Infinity Gauntlet. Although, technically, shouldn't there be two? Just saying, you know, the whole balance thing. Uh, let's kill some zombies. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> Such power. Better watch out, Thanos. I got power for days. Also, I don't know what this thing is. What did I pick up? 
need original names head. Okay. I have their head. So I have the instructions. I, I pulled out, you know, my Infinity Gauntlet instruction manual. It comes in the packaging, so it's very convenient. So first things first, you need 12 AA batteries. Holy moly, what is this, a Game Boy? And it says those 12 batteries will only last for about three minutes. No, I'm just kidding. No batteries required for the Infinity Gauntlets powered by Infinity Stones. But apparently we can toggle through the different gauntlet modes by pressing C. Okay. So we're in soul gem mode right now. It says, in addition, the gauntlet has some gauntlet only abilities. I'm not sure exactly what that means in the wording. It says, name the ability to stop the sun from moving. Default key binding is O. I don't, did I just stop the sun? The sun appears to be moving. And reverse the sun's movement by pressing R. Nothing is happening. So I'm not sure exactly how to utilize this function. How do you name abilities? I don't know. But I guess each stone has two separate abilities. So actually, let's go back to the power gem, right? So we could shoot these, these fireballs of death. But now if we hold it down, apparently something different will happen. I'm gonna hold it down. Oh, I can see it charging. You can see it charging. Oh dear. Oh, this seems terrifying. Oh my gosh, okay. It's fully charged and it clicked. You get a little ding. It's ready to fire. Oh, I'm scared. Let's do it, let go. I just called down lightning of death. Holy cow, that was cool. We need to use that on something. I wonder if we could find a village. I feel like terrorizing a village. But first, I'm gonna launch lightning at this very strange skeleton man. Is this a result of Forge? This must be because I have Forge installed and and forgive me, I'm not too familiar with the modding scene of, of Minecraft. You guys know I'm a noob. These guys have people heads. That's a skeleton with a person head and it's freaking me out so I need to kill it. And I vaporized a pig. The pig is... I'm sorry, pig. Why is there a zombie pig? I've created zombie pigmen. I created zombie pigmen with, with my lightning. Oops. Well, they're now my minions. We'll just roll with that. All right, let's continue our hunt for a village to terrorize. So I am having a hard time finding a village. So I'm going to abort our mission to find a village at this moment in time, but maybe we'll find one along the way. But to alleviate some of my frustration with not finding a village, I'm just gonna, you know, uh, vaporize these sheep. Goodbye, sheep. Oh gosh. Wow. Yeah, I, I created some more zombie pigmen. Awesome. Started a bit of a forest fire. Now, let's try some of the other stuff. So this one appears to be kind of designed if you're in a multiplayer situation, but we'll see if it works on NPCs. Essentially what it's supposed to do is store someone. So I guess this sheep is now inside of the gauntlet. <laughs> We've captured him. And then you shift right click to bring them back. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay, now let's see what happens when we hold it down. Okay, it's fully charged. It, I don't, it didn't do anything. Maybe I have to have something in the gauntlet. Let's see, let's see. No, that didn't do anything. I'm not sure what the charged version of the soul gem does, but I do like the fact that I can just, I, I can just absorb these guys. Oh, I can take more than one at a time. Oh, that's pretty cool. You're all mine, sheep. And you know what? Let's throw in some pigs while we're at it. I'm starting a farm inside of my gauntlet. Just suck them up. Delicious. Mmm. How about some sheep? You? All right. Join the club. Okay, let's spit them out. Well, you know what? Actually, let's see. Maybe if you have more than one, it... Oh, I was thinking that maybe it would spit them all out at the same time. Maybe if I hold shift. Nope, that didn't work either. Darn, I don't know what it does. Let's release the animals. How did I get a squid? Where did the squid come from? <laughs> all right, cool. I do not know where the squid came from, but I'm glad he's here. All right, let's move on to the next gem. 
Reality gem. What does that do? Oh, this is interesting. So it's not really going to work here because I'm playing by myself. But what it does is it removes creative mode from whatever player you're looking at. So you can imagine you're all having a great time in multiplayer creative mode. You're building something awesome. You aim this thing at one of the guys. Just blam. Remove creative mode. Doesn't have the power anymore. Turn him into a regular old peon amongst creative mode gods of Minecraft. <laughs> I love it. I don't know what this would do. I mean, I, I'm going to aim it. Oh. <gasps> what is happening? It's, it's just eating away the earth. Is it ever going to stop? It's still going. It's continuing to go. I am kind of concerned about what's happening here. Is this just gonna keep going forever? This is flooding the forest. I have no idea if this is ever going to stop, but I've started it and I don't know how to make it not keep going. Did it stop? I think it stopped. Okay. That was terrifying and awesome. I could just, I could do that like for several layers, right? Like if I just keep doing this, will it? <gasps> This is insane. Oh my gosh. This is next level digging. This poor sheep, <laughs> he doesn't stand a chance. Oh my gosh, I might crash my game if I keep this going. Okay, I better stop. But you gotta admit, that's pretty stinking cool. And they're just gonna keep growing. This hole is just gonna keep growing out. <laughs> that's awesome. I love it. All right, moving on to the next gem. The mind gem. Mind gem drains XP from whatever player you're looking at. Does it work on NPCs? Give me your XP. Give it to me. G Come here. I want your XP. I guess creepers don't have XP. I find that hard to believe. I'll just punch you with my infinity gauntlet. How's that work? <laughs> Doesn't do anything. It also gives them debuffs, which is cool, but I can't really demonstrate it because I'm by myself. Next is the space gem. Transfer the player to spawn point of a different dimension. Which dimension it can transfer to is determined by the config file. What? I guess you're going to go to a different dimension. Oh, I'm going to a different. Oh, what? I can, I can just like, it's like ender pearls. Oh, that's cool. But I guess if I hold it, does it do the dimension thing? Uh Oh, oh, where am I? I I'm in the nether. Here I am now in the nether. Can I go back? What happens if I charge it up and I use it again? This is just going to take me back to the nether. No, I'm in the end. <laughs> I can destroy the ender dragon. Sure, let's do it with the infinity gauntlet. Why not? I'm go. I'm switching back to power gem. Let's do this. Oh, I can't use it. I can't use it in the end. Oh, no, that worked. That totally worked. So I can. I don't know. I'm kind of confused. Maybe there's a range limit here. It works when I'm up close to the the ender stones or whatever these things are called. Oh, ender dragon just died. I I don't I I don't know how I killed the ender dragon, but he did. Well, I mean, I could go back this way, right? And just take myself to to the end of the game. I win. I beat it and we're back to reality. That was an exciting adventure. I actually kind of want to see what happens if we uh, continue to teleport through different dimensions. So is it in a specific order? It seems like it is. Look, I'm in the nether and then it'll take me to the end. And then where will it take me? To the bottom of the ocean, I think. I mean, I'm obviously in water. I think I'm in the world that I was in. I mean, we're back to the normal dimension, I guess. Let's see if this takes us back to the nether. It totally does. <laughs> this is pretty cool. I'm digging it. All right, let's go back. Next up is the time gem. Transfer the entity in your crosshair to the spawn point of the current dimension. So is this the spawn point of the current dimension? Let's let's test it out. Let's see. Maybe we can. Uh, you know what? Let's see if we can teleport this poor helpless spider. Goodbye, my friend. Wait. He something's happening to him. He's confused. Wait, is he like? Oh, you know what it does? It slows them. Okay, so I guess what it's explaining to me is the charged version of the ability. Is that right? So if I if I charge it up and aim it at the spider, it's going to 
Yeah, it made him disappear. Did he respawn over here? I guess he would spawn underwater because that's where we spawned when we spawned into this world, right? Oh, it's so dark though. I can't see. I don't know where that spider is. I hope he knows where he is. Let's do the same thing to this poor creeper. Goodbye, friend. I don't know if you're in the middle of the ocean now, but you're you're now somewhere different, somewhere new and exciting. Begin a new life, start fresh. And that's actually it. We've gone through all of the gems, but I gotta say, I think my favorite is the power gem. I mean, it shoots fireballs and then if you charge it up, it drops lightning from the sky that destroys everything around it. That's pretty amazing, you know? I mean, let's... Will we make charged creepers if we do this? No, they're just dead creepers. I think they were charged for a second, but then they uh, vaporized into dust because I am now Thanos and nothing can stand before my might. Goodbye to everything and everyone. <gasps> Another infinity gauntlet user. We need to teach them a lesson. And I think I know just the way to do that. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty effective. Well, I've got to say this was a ton of fun. I will have a link in the description down below if you guys want to try out this mod for yourselves. It's super cool. <laughs> Unfortunately, I couldn't use all of the abilities because some of them only affect other actual players. But regardless, this thing is just it's it's awesome. You want to you want to know how Thanos mines? This is how Thanos mines. He just does this. <laughs> Who needs pickaxes when you have the power to blow up anything and everything in your pathway? Yeah, this is pretty cool. But guys, that's going to do it for this episode of Minecraft. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And of course, if you'd like to see more, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on that little circle with my logo in it right below this window. You can also watch more of my videos by clicking on the sides of the screen. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time.